Hello everyone, welcome back to another KSP video. Uh, today we are going to be showing off my recreation of New Glen, uh, which is Blue Origins uh, rocket, which theoretically will be ready by some point in 2021, uh, which we'll see. Uh, but you know, it's under development, so we'll see. Um, and while they're doing that, uh, I decided I'd uh, take a crack at uh, remaking uh, the Blue Origin New Glen in KSP. Uh, there are already a few uh, recreations in KSP, so I thought I'd add my name to the hat um, and see what you guys think of mine. Uh, so if you don't know what the New Glen is, it's, uh, like I said, being developed by Blue Origin, which is Jeff Bezos' company. Uh, it is a partially reusable heavy lift launcher. Uh, it is going to also be using the BE-4 engine, which is a methane-powered engine. Uh, which is currently being developed by B uh, Blue Origin, uh, which is also going to be used on the Vulcan rocket, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it is partially reusable, the bottom stage is reusable, the top stage is not. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing, the flight profile. So uh, but it's, it's a normal launch profile uh, off the pad, and uh, we are going to be carrying a payload, obviously. You can't just be carrying nothing, uh, so you guys have to stay tuned to see what that payload is and where we're going to be taking it. But in the meantime, just talk through our ascent. So just doing a normal gravity turn. Uh, some people say you want to be 45 degrees by 10 kilometers. I don't really like doing that. I tend to pitch 45 degrees over by maybe 15 to 20. I don't know. That's probably not the most efficient way of doing things, but it's the way I like to. Uh, so now I'm just going to go ahead and stage away the bottom stage, uh, just leaving a little bit of fuel left in it so we can go ahead and do a boost back burn and go back to the Kerbal Space Center to do a landing. Uh, normally, the uh, Blue Origin New, uh, the bottom stage, the New Glenn bottom stage, would actually go out to a drone ship. Uh, but since I have so much extra Delta V and don't want to make, make a drone ship, we are going to be doing a boost back burn, going all the way back to the KSC and landing, just basically in the middle of it. You guys, it's a pretty cool landing. Uh, so I'm going to really just be fine tuning this. Uh, I did use the uh, Kerbal Engineer uh, target node, whatever that thing is, target indicator, so that we're going to be landing. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to land accurately without it, uh, you know, like super accurately. You can land like semi-accurately, but like if you want to get perfect landings, you kind of need it. Or trajectories is a great mod. So I'm not just inverting the control of the of those top fins, which are powered by canards, or they're recreated with canards. Uh, and yeah, someone pointed that out that if you invert the controls, uh, they actually works a lot better. They can actually do what they're supposed to do. Uh, so yeah, thank you whoever commented. Uh, you know who you are. I forgot. I forgot what the name was, but uh, I'll put you in the description of the video. Um, so yeah, we're just coming down. It's pretty much a straight down, a little, little bit of horizontal velocity, not a lot. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is drop this down to one time speed, so there's no time lapse right now. I just want to show how much insane amount of G-force since those seven skippers pull. Uh, which is what I'm using as my analog with the BE-4. So look at that. I am at full throttle right now. This is my suicide burn. We're coming, we came in at like 800 meters a second. This thing is absolutely ridiculous because it has very little in the means of drag. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Almost getting that perfect, but we uh, did end up just a little bit high, but we're just going to slowly, slowly bring her down and then uh, just land her right next to uh, the vehicle assembly building and the uh, whatever offices building. I forget what that, that area is called. Uh, just nice and slow, get the landing legs out, uh, which happened a few seconds ago, and then it's going to slowly, not a whole lot of Delta V left, but just nice and slowly, nice, easy landing, hovering, hovering, and touchdown. And that is the bottom stage fully recovered back at the Kerbal Space Center, so they can just do whatever servicing stuff. It's basically already on the road, so they can just pick it up and take it back to the vehicle assembly building. And now we can just uh, fade back to the upper stage as it continues its journey to orbit. Uh, the fairing is going to be deployed right there, and it looks like we have a plane. So that, yeah, that's that's our sea super secret amazing payload. Uh, we are going to be taking this plane uh, out to Minmus uh, because we can. Why not? And I was in the mood for planes, and uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, actually, the plane cannot fit uh, with the wings in the. Uh, fairing, so I did have to actually fold them up using some alligator hinges which came with the Breaking Ground DLC, so just going to unfold them out and open up our solar panel and then we can get ready to make our way out to Minmus. And I accidentally had a, a crosswind enabled on the docking port, so I did end up using all the fuel in this plane, so not, not, nothing to see there, just point of fueling it all back up. Uh, I'm, I do want to discuss why we are taking this thing to Minmus, because you know we can't. You don't want to just go to Minmus for no reason. Uh, if you don't know, there I have a, a new series that I just started called Make Dreads Great Again, 
Uh, it's basically, it's kind of like Matt Lowndes, uh, Life on Lathe or Destination Duna, or a little bit like uh, Straps and Blitz's Upsilon, but I'm not really like taking, I mean, maybe if you want to submit a craft, that'd be great. Uh, I love to, you know, get community interaction, right, guys? Um, now that, if you, if you, I don't know, I doubt you'd want to, I don't know if anyone's that interested in, in what I'm doing in my, my channel, but, uh, if you are, if you want to submit a craft, uh, or like a base or a building or a station, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's like a colonization series. We're going to be colonizing Dreads because Dreads has been very neglected, and there have been too many bad deals, and the fake news has taken over Dreads, and all all the Duna is taking all the resources away from Dreads. So we need to uh, make Dreads great again. So basically, what we what I'm kind of starting now is a uh, let's call it a mini series. We're going to call it campaign stops. So basically, what uh, what what I'm doing is I have Bob. Um, is going to be flying out to a bunch of different planets. This, I might do this once a week, perhaps, as like an extra video every Saturday. We'll see, I don't know. But, I mean, this video is an extra day, video on Saturday. But, um, Bob um, is going to be going out and doing some campaigning for the two candidates, which are going to be trying to make Dreads great again, that being Jeb and Bo Bill. Jeb is obviously going to be the main guy because, you know, he's Jeb. So uh, Bob is going to be going out and doing some campaigning. He's going to be, you know, getting some, planting some flags, just trying to spread the word to the Min Minmaceans. Min, 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 Mai? I don't know. Another thing there's kind of funny if you didn't notice. Um, my, when I detached my plane from the, uh, from the rocket or the, from the second stage, uh, it like moved my, my orbit by like literally that's like three and a half meters a second so that was I don't know, a lot of docking force power right there uh, but either way I was gonna manually uh, correct that this thing has a ton of control authority uh, just because it's so tiny because I mean all right we just we need, need Bob and a pilot and some of his staff to do some campaigning uh, I think this is kind of just a funny little side side quest to do you know having a story could be fun uh, but here we are we're at Minmus and I'm just going to go ahead and do my deorbiting burn, or my orbital insertion burn, and then I'm just going to keep burning and deorbit and land just right here because, you know, Minmus is so tiny, who cares? It's not like there's any awesome specific place to land. And Minmus was a little bit glitched. Um, you'll see when you get a little bit closer, the textures are kind of strange. And I don't know what's going on there. Uh, it did, I, I did, uh, when I, uh, I went to the tracking station and came back and that fixed it, but that was after I did all my, like, EVA stuff, so you guys have to deal with Minmus looking a little pixelated. I don't know why that is. That's a little weird, but hey ho. And uh, just gonna start or finish the burn basically. Uh, finishing it right now. Our landing burn as we come into Minmus. It doesn't look like there's very many people around uh, for for Bob to do any campaigning for. So that's kind of sad. It looks like Jeb and Bill aren't gonna get very many supporters from Minmus. But uh, there we go. There's touchdown a few seconds ago, and then just gonna lower that nose. Uh, in a few seconds now, on to the ground, and there it goes, coming down nicely done. So, just going to hit the brakes, and we are going to waste no time and get Bob EVA'd, and don't forget you get your flu shot, guys. <laughs> I was looking at the top left Spotify thing that came up. Um, Yep, yeah, Bob's gonna get right away, and he has to go ahead and do his campaigning. Looks like there, like I said, there's no one around, so I think Bob might just might just leave a leave a flag or a, 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 a sign down, uh, so everyone will spread the message that way. So here he goes. We'll 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 put out um, the the campaign sign, the new the Jeb and Bill make Dreads great again sign. Um, we'll just we'll leave a note there, make Dreads great again. And uh, I think we just type build the wall or something. Yeah, build the wall. <laughs> so there, Bob will get his message out to all the the Minmai, uh, so they all can come vote for Jeb and Bill on their quest to make Dreads great again. So uh, yeah, uh, it's a new series I've started. Uh, yeah, like it's, it's so if you feel free to watch. I only have one episode up as of recording this video. Hopefully there'll be a lot. We're going to be doing like awesome epic space stations and SSTOs and shuttles and you know bases. It's, it's going to be epic guys. So uh, stay tuned. And also stay tuned for the landing. So what I'm doing right now is just going to be deorbiting the upper stage of the new Glen, uh, which I, I has a lot of extra Delta V in. Uh, in theory, if I wanted to put a parachute on it, it probably could have landed itself. Uh, just, you know, 
and air brakes or whatever, but we didn't do that because we're, we're making a recreation. We're not making a, you know, my version of what it is. So we're just gonna bring it in. Amazingly, it actually survives your entry somehow, which a real rocket would not survive re-entry at from, from that height. So, spoiler alert. Not not real life, guys. This is if you thought this was real life, you're kinda I don't know what life you live in. <laughs> this is this is a game called Kerbal Space Program. What am I talking about? Uh so here we go. This yeah, it just crashed. Uh, but you know, we don't want space junk and I you know, I had someone check the Alta V, I figured eh, why not deorbit it? Uh so now I am going to be getting rid of the solar panel for get in preparation for departure because you know, solar panel is very, very fragile. You don't want them to get the uh, get uh, damaged in the uh, rough process of takeoff. I just, I just, I think there's just a look a little weird. It's the reason I just turn, it looks weird. Like you have a solar panel on where you're taking off. Well, it just doesn't seem right to me, but that's just my opinion. And yeah, I'm just gonna orient it towards uh, east, uh, 90 degrees. So we're actually gonna be departing with the uh, rotation of the planet, you know, efficiency, right guys? Uh, there we go, up in the air now. Uh, just going to be going on our way up to orbit, getting rid of the gear, and then just drifting up to our Apple apps, circularizing, and then we can just plan our way back to Kerbin, which is uh, the last step in our mission to, uh, to yeah, that's the last step in our mission. We have to bring Bob home. We can't just leave him at Minmus. You know, that'd be kind of lame of us. And uh, once we do that, the burn, actually, that'll be the last burn we do in the entire mission. So we're basically going to gonna glide all the way back from Minmus all the way back to Kerbin. Um, back to the Space Center actually. We do land, spoiler alert, we get back to the Space Center. So, you know, everything with the exception of that upper stage is, you know, we are like, you know, 80, 80, 85% reusable. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so here, we're just gonna do uh, two passes around. So the first one uh, is just gonna be lowering our app apps. Uh, so we're just going to be pitching up a little bit, trying to get the bottom side, get some drag in to the airstream so that I can help slow us down. We get down to about 41 kilometers, I believe, on this pass. Uh, once we get uh, through peak heating uh, and I get down to periaps, maybe only 45 kilometers, um, I uh, go up to my point radial out and I try and get that apoaps as low as possible. So we're, we're, you know, it's not that much. It's only 300 kilometers. Uh, so now it's going to time lapse or time warp right around to uh, our final re-entry. And then I'm just going to point prograde uh, because we we need to get we need to stay as aerodynamic as possible because we're coming in a little bit short so we do need to, you know, stay as aerodynamic as possible if we want to get back to the runway in one piece. Uh, so yeah, that's or well, I mean, in back to the runway without you know overshooting. So there we go, just starting to come over the main Kerbal uh, Space Center where the you know the the little peninsula where it is or the continent or whatever you would like to call it, uh, and it's starting to kind of come into view now past those clouds, and then it's going to start to kind of really uh, aggressively pull the nose to the left to try and get the thing to you know basically turn because we were coming a little bit to the right. So just trying to get back. This isn't very very good alignment with the runway, uh, but you know this thing is very maneuverable and you know it, it can glide. Um, this thing actually does glide extremely well. I mean, it really doesn't have a lot of wing, but the the Mark II fuselage, uh, that one has um, it has a ton of lift, the body lift. So we don't need as much wing as you know maybe if we had like a Mark a 2.5 meter piece or something as our plane or a Mark One or something like that, but. Nevertheless, we are coming back. Just did a quick save, just in case my kind of I do a little bit of a turn here, a 90 degree like sweeping turn to line up, just in case that didn't go well. But there you go, coming in towards the runway. We're already like halfway past the runway, or halfway through the runway. But either way, coming in, just coming in nice and slow, trying to touch down as smooth as possible, as smooth as possible, nice and slow, nice and slow, and there we go. Uh, now one one thing that did happen is I can't really hit the brakes so I have to kind of like pump the brakes kind of like hit them like tap them quickly because if I just hold the brakes down that the, the plane will kind of lose control and flip over because I mean you can see how the wheels are placed so we barely barely get stopped in time and the thing does almost wind up flipping over but we have pretty strong reaction wheels to save us and there we go all right welcome back to the Kerbal Space Center everybody and that is going to conclude our mission, so I hope you enjoyed. I'd like to thank you for watching. Until next time, please rate or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. Until next time, and bye.